It is like a cancer. That's how military leaders today describe sexual assaults in the ranks. But they pushed back against legislation proposed by a Bay Area congresswoman to remove such cases from the military's chain of command. KTVU's Heather Holmes is here now to tell us about the drastic changes in military rules that lawmakers are calling for. Heather? Arizona Senator John McCain, a decorated Vietnam veteran, said today that he could no longer recommend that women join the military because the sexual assault problem is simply out of control. The nation's top military commanders testified before the Senate Armed Services Committee. Not all commanders are objective. Not New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand wants to take sexual assault cases away from the military chain of command and allow victims to go directly to special prosecutors trained to handle sexual assault cases. Not every single commander can distinguish between a slap on the ass and a rape because they've merged all of these crimes together. Today's hearing comes after a scathing report that estimated 26,000 service members were sexually assaulted last year, but only 3,300 victims reported the attacks. Military leaders say they are addressing the problem and resisted limiting commander's authority. It will undermine the readiness of the force. It will inhibit our commander's ability to shape the climate and discipline of our units. I don't buy that argument. Peninsula Congresswoman Jackie Spear says this is another example of military brass refusing to take action. She recently alerted leaders to these pictures posted to Facebook denigrating women in the Marine Corps. General James Amos, Commandant of the Marine Corps, responded with this letter, saying they are aware of the misuse of social media and currently have 14 open cases, but that it lacks the resources and infrastructure to investigate more. Same-o, same-o. They are not of the mind to really fix the system. Now, Congresswoman Speer has also authored a bill allowing victims to bypass the chain of command, and she will try to drum up more support, Frank and Julie, on the House floor tomorrow. Reporting live, I'm Heather Holmes, KTVU Channel 2 News.